Well, congratulations for completing this PL300 course. So what's the next step for you? Well, here are some resources that can help with your future learning journey. What's a good way to prepare for the PL300 exam? Well, why not redo all of the practice activities and quizzes in this course? And then after that, please have a look at the official Microsoft practice test and assessment. Underneath this video, there is a link to all of these pages that I'm going to show you. So if you're interested in any of these items, just look at the links below this video. First of all, the Microsoft PL300 practice test is around $100, but with this affiliate link, you can see that I've managed to get a good discount. It has 175 questions and gives you detailed explanations on your answers. This enables you to get used to the style of questions being asked and can help you improve on your answers. So I would recommend doing this practice test until you get over 90% right before doing the actual exam. And you can do this practice test as many times as you want for 30 days, but you could extend it to 60 days or 365 days for a small additional cost. And you can buy the version that can be downloaded onto your computer. So we recommend getting this practice test if you are just going to do the PL300 exam. And you can see that there is a guarantee. Pass your exam or we'll give you your money back. Well, as long as you scored 90% or more twice. Now, if you're going to do more than just this one exam in the next year, then I would recommend going for the Measure Up subscription plan. So this gives you unlimited access to all of Measure Up's practice tests. And the price is around the price of two practice tests. It gives you 365 day access to more than 120 tests. So in Microsoft, that would cover things like Windows Server, Azure, Office 365, SQL Server, SharePoint, Exchange Server, and more. And it also covers CompTIA, Cisco, AWS, VMware, and PMI. Now, to avoid multiple users using this individual plan, you can only have one practice test active at once. And once you activate another practice test, then you won't be able to go back to the previous one for the rest of the subscription period. So it really is for an individual user. If you have multiple users, then there is a company version available starting at two users. Now you may also see the measure up assessment and it's only around $20. So this is a low cost alternative. This is good if you want a small sample of questions only, and then you can say, yes, I'm ready. However, it only includes 30 questions. You can only use it once or twice for an additional cost and it doesn't include any explanations or references, which the practice test does. So for this reason, yes, it's more expensive, but I do recommend you going for the official practice test or the subscription if you're doing multiple practice tests within the one year. Now, if you want more videos to help with the content of the PO300 exam, then please have a look at MeasureUp's CERT kit. It includes the 60 day practice test and also 365 days access to e-learning as well. So links to all of these are available below this video. Now, if you would like a book about the PL300, then please have a look at the Microsoft PL300 Power BI Data Analyst book. It is available in both paperback and Kindle form. Now, please note, as a printed book, it may not reflect the latest version of the PL300 exam. You can also have a look at the official Microsoft Learning Paths. So if I go down this web page, you can see that there are five learning paths with around 23 modules, which contain five to 15 web pages each. Now, you should also note that these learning paths may not reflect the latest version of the PL300 exam. And in my view, they're not complete. Now to see the exam requirements for the PL300, then on this page, you should go to review the PL300 study guide. Alternatively, if you go back to our course, you will see in the resource section right near the beginning of the course, a PDF version of this. Now, Microsoft checks these requirements every couple of months to ensure that they are up to date. So this is subject to change. Now, to schedule the exam, you go to the schedule exam button. You can then schedule the exam with Pearson View, either in person at a test center or online. And if you're doing the online version, which I generally do, then you'll need a webcam, an internet connection, 
a private distraction-free place and a government-issued ID. So having done this PO300 course, what other video courses might you be interested in? Well, Power BI is part of the Power Platform. Therefore, you might be interested in other parts of the Power Platform, which includes Canvas apps, model-driven apps, Power Automate, and Power Virtual Agents. So the first course you might be interested in is the PL900 course. This covers the fundamentals of Power Platform, looking at the principles behind the apps. By the end of the course, you will have an introductory knowledge of Power Platform, and after going through the official Microsoft practice tests, you will then be able to take the official exam. And these courses, just like my PL300 course, follows the requirements of the official Microsoft exam or assessment, and there are plenty of quizzes or practice activities as appropriate, so you can be sure that you are learning. Next, our 17-hour PL100 course looks at the Power Platform on a more practical level. You will build Canvas apps, model-driven apps, Power Automate floors, chatbots in Microsoft Teams, configure Microsoft Dataverse, and more. Then our 11-hour functional consultant course builds on what you have learned in the PL100 course. You will learn about creating a Power Pages website, implementing Power Virtual Agents chatbots, and managing solutions. And our 12-hour PL400 developer course builds on the PL100 and 200 courses. It focuses on using JavaScript, TypeScript, and C Sharp, allowing you to enhance the Power Platform with plugins, components, and integrations. Now, if you want something shorter, then you might want to have a look at courses which cover the requirements of the new Microsoft Applied Skills Assessments. Our two-hour Power Automate course allows you to create triggers and actions, add conditional logic, create approvals, and configure owners and sharing. Now, if you've watched all of the videos in this course, then you will shortly be able to download your Udemy Certificate of Completion. If you have any trouble downloading it, then please go to this website for troubleshooting. As I say, all the links are underneath this video. Now, we'd love to keep in contact with you. Why not post your success in LinkedIn and let others know about your newfound skills? Please add hashtag I do data in your message so we can see your message and can comment or repost it. And if you want to link with us, please go to our LinkedIn page. Want more? Well, we've also got more videos on our YouTube channels, both on our channel concentrating on SQL Server and our channel looking more widely at exam requirements and the Power Platform. And then finally, please sign up for our newsletter. This allows us to send you emails about videos that you might find interesting, including those that I'm not allowed to send to you on Udemy, information about sales, and other information about our videos. Links to all of these are available below this video. Well, I hope you do decide to go for the official PL300 exam. Regardless of what you choose to do, thank you very much for joining me in this course, and I hope to see you in the next course and keep learning.